Hello everybody, I'm Colin Tomlinson from Greenwood Bonsai Studio in Nottingham. I'm in the studio today working on a few trees and this is one that I thought you might be interested in. It's a dwarf cultivar of Japanese black pine. It's Pinus thumbergii Kotobuki. I sold it to a customer about eight years ago and uh, he brings it up here once a year for maintenance. He's pretty good at feeding it, watering it and just looking after it but doesn't do much pruning. So it comes in every year for its sort of spring trim. So these long shoots, the growth it put on last year, and a lot of these, there's buds further back. So these long shoots can be taken back, it can be trimmed to keep it in shape, to keep it nice and compact and looking more sensible. So it's come in for this sort of work to be done. So it's just been coming off his bench. You can see there's quite a few pine needles at the base of it. There's some old needles in these branches here. So we're gonna take these old needles off, we're gonna trim the new growth back and give it a general tidy up. Okay, so we're back in the studio with this dwarf Japanese black pine, Pinus thumbergii kotobuki. It's a client's tree that's come in for some pruning. And I'm just gonna start pruning on this right hand side of it here. Now these are quite a short, sharp needle, they're quite a prickly tree to work on. So I tend to use a pair of tweezers, long tweezers, and a pair of bonsai scissors for this procedure. And what I'm trying to do is to shape this foliage pad, make it look a bit more sensible. There's a few things we're looking to do. We're looking to actually get in there and remove some of these old brown needles in here. So for those, yeah, we can either rub them out with our fingers if you've got thick skin, yeah, or you can use a pair of tweezers to uh, sort of knock them out or sort of pull them out so that tweezers allow you to get in there a little bit and sort of knock those needles out so we can do this sort of section like this yeah. and then with scissors we want to go in and have a look at the actual structure of this so this section here for instance this tip here is getting a little bit long and also hanging down a little bit this is a tighter foliage behind it so if we have a look where this is coming from back in here I'm quite okay to take that section there off so we've got this smaller foliage pad here and then some of these needles that are growing down we can even remove these needles to tidy it up and then here this one growing up we can trim that back this tip here look there's a smaller bud further back here so we can take that tip out we can remove it with, with scissors trim it with scissors and remove it with a tweezer same with this one here we can go back there's a bud further back in here so we can hold that tip cut it with the scissors remove it with a tweezer same with this section just here and this section just here and then back round to here we want to have a look through trim off any little dead stubs that we don't want some of these needles that are hanging down again this piece here is growing up a bit too much so we can trim that back to a bud Take off some of these old needles. This shoot in here we don't want growing across. Let's take that section out, give it a bit more space. Yeah. A few of these little bits in here, tidy up. And with that done, little bud in there can come off. And a few of these longer needles here that look a little bit untoward, we can just remove those. This one here, this needle here and this one, and this one. And then we've got now this section here, we've tidied that section up from what it was before. So now I'm gonna continue this process, yeah, on these other sections of the tree, and then I'll come back and show you a bit later on. Okay, so I'm here in the studio again, Still working on this Japanese black pine, just removing the old needles and thinning out the new growth. And as I said earlier, this time of year, really busy time of year for us here at the studio in spring. This tree just comes to us once a year for an annual prune. It's not the only thing that has a prune only once a year. Just a little bit off the sides and not too much off the top. What do you reckon? Just a little quick conclusion of this tree that I've been working on. 
in the studio at Greenwood Bonsai now. We've both had a bit of a spring prune and at least, the, at least the tree's looking a little bit better for it. We've got rid of a lot of the old needles. We've trimmed back some of the new growth. So it's got a better, a little bit lighter density to it now. So it's gonna let more light into these branches. We'll activate buds and we'll get good ramification and growth on it for this coming season. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like, watch and subscribe to our other videos and to our channel. Thank you very much.